Hello bees bladers, welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. What is this knife if we only knew, right? Oh yeah, check it out. It's a brand new one from Tempest Knives. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. If you haven't checked out Tempest Knives, then uh, where you been? <laughs> what rock have you been uh, hanging out under? But go check out Knives Fast on YouTube, the famous YouTube Knives Fast. Check it out. Okay, so we're gonna get right in this. This is, uh, this is gonna be an exciting one. I haven't checked it out yet, but but oh, I am looking forward to it. And I'm pretty sure I got the Mr. Fancy Pants version. There's gonna be three or four different versions and I'll have I'll have a picture or two that I'll flash on the screen to show you what the other ones are gonna look like. Look at that, it's all wrapped in paper and all fancy. Mr. Fancy, oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I hope you're having a fan freaking tastic day. I am because we're checking out the new Tempest Knives Microjet. Would you look at it? Just look at it and all of its micro jetness and ooh yeah, it has that micro milling on top of, oh yeah, love that tiger stripe, it looks so good. Nice, okay, all right, so <laughs> I know I was gonna like this knife because uh, I have the bigger one right here and I'll, I'll show you what it looks like next to this one here in just a Ella Momento and look at this, it has a reversible uh, not deep carry, but a reversible clip. You're gonna have about that much shown out of your pocket. So people will be like, hey, uh, what, what kind of knife you rock in there? And this is a milled titanium clip. And I'm pretty certain that this all this is also titanium. We have a stonewashed blade. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's 154 CM. Um, if I find the stat or have the stat, I'll put it like on the screen or down in the description. And I'll also put a link where you can go check out this knife. Now check this out, look at this. We have some, ooh, okay, very nice. Very nice micro jimping on this hidden flipper. Not hidden, but kind of a, what do you call that? In line, it doesn't stick out. So it's not a pocket pecker. For all you folks that are like, I don't like flippers because of this or because of that. Well, you know, you get the best of both worlds. You get a flipper, but it's not sticking out. And really, you know, I mean, it's hardly even higher than the back of the, the knife itself. So uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's gonna be an issue. And there is his signature pivot, which is a captive pivot. It has cage ceramic ball bearings, which is very nice and look at this oh yes you could tell a knife reviewer designed this because they did el perfecto jimping this jimping is so good it's so grabby on the fingers i love it are you ready to see this blade pow right in the kisser oh my goodness gracious just take a look at it <laughs> I mean, just look at it. It just, it looks so good. Oh, I'm gonna put it next to the other one here in just a second. And I love that the only branding we have from Tempest Knives, right there, the most perfect place to have your logos, right up there on the Ricasso. And check out that awesome stone. I think this is an acid wash. I think that's what he told me. This is an acid wash. And I, I, this is, this is D2, but that, this isn't going to be a D2 knife. This is a proto, a prototype. So don't worry, you're not going to be getting D2. You're going to be getting, I'm pretty sure that it's 154 CM blade steel. So you're going to be getting some good blade steel with this bad boy. Now, since I don't know what the size of it is, we're going to check that out right now. Where's my little uh, size measuring device? <laughs> so what you call that? So let's see from tip to tip. We're coming in right at about the seven inch mark. Your sharpen length's uh, one, two, three, about 2.5678, about 2.8 inches long for your sharpen length. Um, it's not even three whole inches for your blade. So if you folks that aren't allowed to have a three inch knife, you know what? I think that you're gonna be coming in safe. Uh, oh, nope. <laughs> just a hair past the three inch mark, just barely. And this is a, oh, wow. This, oh, wow, that, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll have what he's having. That is so comfortable. Wow, that is comfortable. That makes me happy. When I have a knife that is so easy to disengage and is comfortable on my thumb, I mean, I don't have baby skin by any sense of the imagination, but I also enjoy flipping and flicking my knives. And that, I'm telling you right now, is pleasurable. And are we centered? Yes, it is centered. And you know, it's a prototype. I wouldn't expect that a prototype would even be perfect, but my goodness, this thing is gorgeous. Let's see. Oh, wow. Here's a couple quick size comparisons before I forget. Oh, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like next to the jet stream. But first, let me show you. Here it is next to the Vostid Raccoon. There's the Raccoon and here's the Civivi Elementum 2 button lock. So it's definitely, okay, there we go. It's in the, the Elementum size range, but I like that the handle's higher, 
the blade, the whole, everything about it is just a little bit wider. Um, it's not thicker per se. If you have an Elementum 2, let's see, the thickness wise, it's thinner. It's just a hair bit thinner than the Elementum 2. So that that's very nice. I, I wasn't expecting that, but it yeah, it definitely is. Okay, so, <laughs> I, I, oh, dude, uh, he might not get this prototype back <laughs> unless I get one of the other ones. Here's the Sincut Saxi. I've been carrying that this week. You can see it's, it's a medium-sized knife. We'll see how the ergos are here in just a second, but I wanted to get these other ones up here for size comparison. Here's the QSP Penguin in case I didn't have the Penguin out already. And then here is, uh, here's, here's a, a smaller, not a smaller, but here is the Spyderco para three there you go and now let's show i want to see what it looks like next to the jet stream the jet stream's not a tiny boy but oh wow look at that perfect perfect complement to the jet stream check that out so are there any differences that i'm seeing the we have the same features here the same features here um it looks like this one it looks like this blade comes up higher than this one does. This it looks a little more flat backish than this one, just by a hair, and that might be because of the size of the blade. But let me see here. Oh my goodness! I want to check out the ergos. Let me move these other knives out of the way so we can check out the ergonomics. For all you newbies to bees blades, my hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the bottom of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. And oh, like a glove. Yeah, that's comfy. There's, I'm telling you, there's something about, uh, I mean, he has so much knife knowledge. He's reviewed hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of knives, and he knows what works, he knows what doesn't. The, the ergos and the hammer grip, oh my gosh, they're fantastic. You can bear down on this sucker, and oh, oh yeah. <laughs> You can choke up. You have this flat area because you don't have a flipper tab sticking out. So you can get right up here behind the heel. This, oh, this is fan, this is fantastic. The, I like this one better than the, than the, uh, the jet stream. <laughs> Just the way it fits my hand. This is an everyday user. Holy cow. This is, this is really nice. I mean, this is really nice. So when I'm holding it back here, my thumb is so locked. My thumb is not going to slip. And I love that there's plenty of jipping depending on where you're holding the knife. Even if I'm choked up, I still get plenty of that jimping under my thumb. I have a good lockup with, for my hand. I have a good hand lockup on there. That, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Uh, this is a winner. This is an absolute winner. So you get a good reverse flick. Here's a little bit of acoustics before I forget. And in the background upstairs, my wife is working out. The dog is outside barking because he wants to come in. So maybe you got a little bit of that acoustics too. This flipper, fantastic. Oh my gosh. You can even flick your bick if you want to. This is a winner. Okay, now here's the thing. These, these are coming out around mid to late September. That's the latest word on the streets, right? Mid to late September. And I'm sure that you will find out. Just stay tuned to Bees Blades. And if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed and hit the notification all button because we're going to talk about this one on the live stream every Friday night. Bees Blades live at the hive. All right. We talk about knives just like this. We give knife, we've given away many Tempest knives on the channel too. So that's not the reason for the live stream, but it sure does make it extra fun when we get to do the giveaways. But wow, my goodness gracious, knives fast, Tempest knives. This is, this is an amazing knife. I, I don't have any complaints. The only, like if I'm, I'm really searching for something to say, uh, that's kind of nitpicky. The only thing I could possibly say is that I can feel this edge right here when I have it nestled into my hand, but it's not even sharp. I, that's the only thing I, I can I actually just tell. It's not even a warm spot, but I can tell that the pocket clip's there. And if it were any other pocket clip or done any other way, it might've been dangerous, might've not been comfortable. This edge right here, just that little bit of edge is all I'm feeling. And did I say earlier that you can put a lanyard hole in here or a lanyard? You do have a hidden lanyard pin and that's probably titanium for your back spacer. But oh my goodness, this is a fantastic knife. I absolutely love it. This prototype might get lost. <laughs> hey, it's D2 steel. I would, I'd be happy with this in D2, but I know it's going to be a little more premium steel than that. Let me know what you think about the new Tempest Knives Microjet. Give me a big thumbs up if you enjoy my content and then go watch this video. You'll enjoy that one too. And until I see you again in the lives or the chats or the high stream, remember, live life in the present 
keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.